So ABC is an equilateral triangle of side 2 cm with ABC as centers and radius 1 cm. Three arcs are drawn. The area of the region within the triangle bounded by the three arcs is. The given answer options are 3 root 3 minus pi by 2, root 3 minus 3 pi by 2, root 3 minus pi by 2, or pi by 2 minus root 3. Now, even before starting anything with the solution here, one simple verification is will one simple verification will eliminate two of the answer options. Now, I'm not sure how many of you have tried that, but let me give this to you. This should open up your uh, eyes that okay, this get this could have been verified very easily. Simple. He is asking us to find out the area. Now look at options here. We know that root 3 is 1.7. Approximately, let's say it is 1.7, right? 1.73. Pi is approximately 3.14. Now in all these options, you see pi by 2. So pi by 2 will be approximately 1.57, right? Now just try to substitute the values and see what do you find out. For example, if you look at first option, 3 root 3 minus pi by 2. 3 root 3 minus pi by 2. What happens? 3 into root 3 is 1.7 minus pi by 2. Pi by 2 is how much? 1.57. This will result in a positive answer. 3 into 1.7 is approximately 5.1. 5.1 minus 1.5. So this is a positive value. So possible. Option 1 is possible. Option 1. Look at option 2. Root 3 minus 3 pi by 2. How much is root 3? 1.7. 1.73 let's say minus 3 pi by 2 3 pi by 2 pi by 2 itself is 1.5 approximately 1.5 3 into pi by 2 will be 4.5 so 1.7 minus 4.5 will give you a negative answer can the area be negative no option 2 eliminated look at option 3 root 3 minus pi by 2 root 3 minus pi by 2 okay root 3 minus pi by 2 1.73 minus pi by 2 is what 1.57 this is possible this is a positive answer, hence possible. But option 4, if you look at option 4, pi by 2 minus root 3, this will become negative. It is negative of third option, right? Pi by 2 minus root 3 is minus of root 3 minus pi by 2. This is negative. Can the area be negative? No. Option 4 is also eliminated. So without doing any, cal I mean, of course, we have done a little verification there, but without drawing the triangle, without considering anything given in the question, just a simple verification. I know that area has to be positive. Two options get eliminated. And like I mentioned in the earlier sessions as well, by any chance, if one more option gets eliminated, let's see, by using this verification, do we have to do anything? No. The left out answer can be taken as a correct one here. Now that two options are left out, we'll have to go for the solution. So that's a different story. But how many of you had got this idea? Because see, the, the moment you look at the options, it should strike to you that, okay, this may come out to be negative. And when you actually verify, yes, two options are negative. And if one more option comes out to be negative, you're through. Right. So all these comes only with practice. Right. So keep practicing. That's very, very important. Now, how do we solve this? He says ABC is an equilateral triangle. Right. So we know that option two and option four are wrong. Anyway, we are going to solve the complete question. But by verification, we got to know that two and four are wrong. Now consider an equilateral triangle. ABC is an equilateral triangle. Right. This is A, B and C. Now sides are two centimeters. Right. All the sides are two centimeters here. He says with A, B, C as centers, A is a center, B is a center, and C is also a center, and radius 1 centimeter, three arcs are drawn. Now understand, from, cent from if you look at B, from this center B, if you take radius as 1 centimeter, it will be half of this side. Yes or no? It will be half of AB because AB is 2, half of AB. Right? And on this side also, if you take BC, half of BC. A arc is drawn. So from the center, you will draw an arc. So the arc will come out like this. Yes or no? The arc will be like this. Similarly, from uh, center as A, half is 1, and this side half is 1, another arc is drawn. So you'll draw an arc like this. Right? And center as C, this half is 1, the other half is 1, so you'll draw one more arc. You're able to follow. So basically, this is the structure that gets formed. Arc with center as A, arc with center as B, and arc with center as C. Remember, this is an equivalent triangle. Now, what is he asking us to find out? He is asking us to find out the area of the region within the triangle bounded by the three arcs. Now, what area is bounded by the three arcs? This, this area, this shaded area. You have to find out this area. You're getting it? This area is to be measured now. How do we do that? From the area of the triangle, see, all these are one. 
one, 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 and one sides. I mean, the radius basically, right? The complete length is two. Now, from the area of the triangle, if we subtract these three sectors, will I get the answer? Yes. This is nothing but a sector, right? Let's let's say E, F, and G. E, F, and G, right? So A, E, F is a sector. B, E, G is a sector. C, F, G is a sector. So area required will be equal to area of triangle A, B, C minus area of three sectors, right? There are three sectors, the area of each of the sectors. Now, important point here is see each angle here is 60 degrees. This is 60 degrees. This is 60 degrees. Why? Because it is an equivalent triangle. Now, if you add all the three sectors together, see sector will, will look like this. It is like this, right? Uh, each sector is of this shape, 60 degrees. How do you measure the area of a sector? Area of a sector will be equal to theta by 360 into pi r square. So you can use the area of sector formula, find out area of each of the three sectors and simplify it, right? Remember, each sector will be equal, right? Each sector will be equal because all the measurements are same, right? Radius is one, here also radius is one, here also radius is one, and all the angles are 60 degrees. So each sector is going to be equal. So we can say the required area will be equal to area of triangle. What will be the area of triangle? Root three by four a square because it is an equal triangle and side is given as two, so two square minus area of the three sectors. So three into area of each sector. What is the area of each sector? Theta by 360. Theta is nothing but the angle here. 60 by 360 into pi r square. Pi, let's take as it is, r square. r square is one square. Now simplify, three into 60 is 180. 180 here goes two times. Now two square and four gets canceled. So we are left with root three minus pi into one pi divided by two. So root three into root three minus pi by two square centimeter will be the answer. So root three minus pi by two option three is the final answer. Getting it? So that's the solution. So I would say more of mensuration than geometry, but you have to use this concept of sector, right? Area of a sector is theta by 360 into pi r square. And, and even if you do not want to go by area of sector, let's say you do not know the formula, then what do you do? Then there is a smarter way of arriving at the answer. If I club all the three sectors, what happens? See, it is like this. This is one sector, this is the second sector, and this is the third sector. Each is 60 degrees angle. So total angle will be how much? 180 degrees. So it becomes a semicircle actually. Yes or no? If you look at it, by adding all the three sectors, you get a semicircle. Semicircle area, you know, pi r square by 2, and r is equal to 1. So area of the triangle minus area of semicircle can also be taken as the solution for this question.